Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two multiple choice questions for you. Here is the first question. Consider an organism that is heterozygous for the gene genes Y and Z. If the two recessive alleles are on the one chromosome, the genes are in and you have to choose between these four answers. And in order to explain this, how to solve this problem, let me use this picture first. As you see, this is human karyotype. We have 23 pairs of chromosomes, 22 pairs of autosomes, and one pair of sex chromosomes. And as you see, uh, this is karyotype of the male because only one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. And uh, each pair of chromosomes represent uh, one chromosome from the mother side, another chromosome from the father side. So we call such uh, chromosomes homologous chromosomes. Uh, these chromosomes uh, have the same genes in the same order, but some genes uh, may slightly be different. So we call such genes uh, or such variants alleles. And now let me, we don't need this uh, picture anymore, now let me draw two homologous chromosomes, so one from mother side, another from the father side, and we are told that uh, this pair of chromosomes has two genes. For example, here would be gene Z. We told the two genes uh, are heterozygous, heterozygous, so here we would have capital Z and here we would have in the same locus on the homologous chromosome we would have small z. So uh, dominant and recessive allele of the same gene that is gene Z. And we also tell, told that uh, here we have another gene, gene Y, and uh, if the two recessive alleles are on the um, same chromosome, on one chromosome, that means that here we have uh, to have small Y chromosome, uh, small Y uh, gene or allele, and here we would have capital Y uh, allele. So, as you see, two recessive alleles are on the same uh, chromosome. And that means that two dominant alleles are also on the same uh, chromosome. From the chemistry course, you probably remember that when we have uh, one molecule and if position, for example, of some groups for example, R group would be on the same side. We call this this configuration. And when we have the same molecule and position of R groups would be on the different side, we call this trans configuration. So R group here, R group here, and two R groups on the same side. And as you see, uh, chromosome represent one big molecule. This molecule may consist of millions of base pairs. With thousands of genes, each gene uh, may consist of thousands of base pairs and these thousands of genes only represent 2% of the whole um, chromosome and uh, the rest 98% would be so-called junk uh, DNA. Those in uh, recent years scientists have found uh, many functions of uh, so-called junk DNA. For example, uh, some of the sequence uh, in junk DNA may affect uh, expression of the genes. But let's return to our problem. So, as you see, we have two recessive alleles on one chromosome and two 
dominant alleles on the other chromosome. So this would be uh, analogous example from the chemistry course when we have two R groups on the same side. So we don't have any uh, side uh, groups here, but uh, this is just an um, analogous example, not uh, absolutely the same as uh, in chemistry. So uh, anyway, the answer, correct answer is answer A. And next question, the first genetic linkage map was constructed in what organism? And here is four answers to choose from. Answer A, bacteria, B, yeast, C, peas, and uh, D, fruit flies. As you probably already used to idea that first genetic experiments were conducted with uh, simple uh, organisms such as uh, bacteria, uh, microbes, uh, viruses, but uh, actually the first uh, genetic uh, linkage map were constructed in famous fruit flies uh, laboratory of Thomas Morgan and uh, this experiment were conducted by his um, student who worked in his laboratory by name Alfred Stutterwand uh, what he did, uh, he know that uh, between two uh, genes, two locations of the genes during meiosis, uh, crossing over uh, may happen, and the greater distance between two genes, the higher frequency of the crossing over we can find. But if we consider only two loci, we only can uh, say uh, the relative distance between them and in order to build a genetic map he had an idea that uh, we need third locus for example uh, for the gene X he have been able not just to tell uh, the distance between genes but also he have been able to tell uh, the order of the genes on the chromosome. He just uh, analyzed frequency of the crossing over between say gene Z and X, between X and Y, and between Y and Z. So he have been able to build the first uh, genetic linkage map and this discovery was made in 1913. So more than 100 years ago. So the correct answer is answer D, uh, the first linkage map, genetic linkage map, we are constructed in fruit flies, using fruit flies as model organism. And this is all for today, thank you for your attention, please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day, thumbs up if you like this video, please write your comments, questions if you have any, and see you in the next video, goodbye.